Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. I'm here with my girlfriend Kelly. Hey. So if you like any fragrance related content, make sure you show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. I really appreciate that. Make sure you like this video if you want to see more videos like this. And make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. Today's video we're talking about a new release from the house of Norris and Wilson. If you're not sure of the brand, it's Mr. Smelly's. I'm gonna leave his channel down below. Definitely check him out. Um, Big thank you to Steven for sending me this uh, fragrance as a gift. I wasn't expecting it, but he said he think I would like it. In this video, I'm gonna let you know if I like it or I don't. The giveaway attached to this video as well. I'm gonna give away uh, this fragrance right here, but only uh, two five mil samples. All you have to do is make sure you subscribe to my channel, Casual Fragrances. Make sure you subscribe to my friend, my good buddy, Dr. Fragrances channel. He's almost at 2,000 subscribers. Let's help him get there. And make sure you leave a comment down below with your name and your state. It's a USA only, I do apologize done a lot of national giveaways. I want to give back to people in the USA because this fragrance is available more in the UK than the United States. So that kind of makes sense. Fragrance like this is going to run you $150 for a 100 ml bottle. Beautiful presentation. I know my girlfriend Kelly says she likes the bottle presentation of it. The front. Yeah, I really like the uh, embossing. It's really nice and it's heavy plaque too. It's a heavy fragrance. The cap is heavy too and it's, it doesn't uh, magnetically clap into place but it does lock down pretty nice and snug. Okay, so I'm gonna spray it on a test strip and see if Kelly likes it. And then I'm gonna go over a note breakdown and how it performs on my skin. Spray a test strip for her. I'm gonna spray it on a test strip myself. I've worn this for three days straight to work, so I have an idea of how it smells and performs. Okay. The opening, we have the top notes of bay leaf, lemon, basil, lemongrass, lemon, orange, mandarin, orange. We have, that's in the top. The mid we have clove, ginger, pepper, watermelon in the mid and top it off in the base or the dry down notes, hazel vetiver, patchouli, cedar, and oak moss. So in this fragrance here, it does open up very fresh with the lemon, it's clean, it's uplifting scent. It's hard to have a lot of freshies um, out there that are doing better than what they already are. I know my girlfriend's Kelly, very picky on fresh all. fragrances. <laughs> She'll criticize like, it if it's not I that like good. I like sweet stuff. I find them boring usually just because they all smell the same. It's like, yeah, it's fresh. It's nice. Yeah. The end. <laughs> and they usually use the same notes like bergamot, lemon, um, grapefruit. The same notes over and over again. It's a freshie, but it's not wowing anybody and after a while. How many freshies do you need? Especially when you're going from designer world, now you're going niche world. Ever since I smell more niche fragrances, she's getting better at smelling niche fragrances. She loves those fragrances more than my designers at the end of the day. But nevertheless, you do like this one, right? I do, yes. Okay. All right, so let me go over touch on the performance a little bit. Me personally, projection is nice for the first hour. It's a full arm's length where I wear it to work, I catch whiffs. Then it does come closer to the skin because it is a freshie, so keep that in mind. Not gonna last forever. It's nice, simple, but after that hour, the next two to five hours, you can still detect it. But then by that five hour mark, it does come closer to the skin. Longevity for the fragrance itself, I'm looking at about six hours on my skin. Some people might get six or seven. So in that six or seven hour range, but I got six hours, it's a freshie. You don't expect wonders in freshie fragrances. They're very hard to put out there on the market. Ethereal notes. Yeah, definitely with the lemon. There's lemon, lemongrass. Um, there's uh, orange mandarin. Those notes are very fresh notes. They're hard to keep last on a fragrance for more than a couple of hours. But this is a great fragrance overall. Seasons and occasions. So for me personally, uh, I'm gonna get my girlfriend's opinion. But for me personally, I feel like it's more of a spring and summer fragrance. But you can wear this as a signature scent all year round because it's fresh, but I feel like it's gonna shine more in the spring and summer. How do you feel about that? Mm. Yeah, I tend to agree. Um, I don't know what it is like uh, about it that makes it seem more more fresher, or, or no? Just like a little bit more like spring and summery, okay. a little bit more warm weather. Which then again, depending on when you live, you might have warm weather all the time, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you can wear it all the um, time if you live in a hotter um, area in the world, like Florida, maybe Texas, where you can you can wear we can wear fragrances California. like this. California, it's not going to offend anybody. You wear this in the winter time? Yeah, I think so. I think you could. Yeah. I feel like it's just going to shine better in the warmer months with the fresher notes. That's yeah. pretty much it. For occasions, I feel like you can dress this up or dress it down. I feel like it could be a great date night fragrance or a great work fragrance. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I think it's versatile. I don't think it's um like too I don't think it's too, too, too dressy strong. or anything like mm. that. It's not too formal. Um but it's not like 
you know, nobody, not, no, it's not going to offend anybody. You know, it's not. That's why I feel like it's very nice, easy to wear fragrance. I don't think it's going to like make anybody feel like you have too much of a fragrance on. Like it's yeah. nice, it's easy. Radiance and final thought. So for me personally, um, I tried the original one. I like the original one a lot. It reminds me of Scandal by Rosia. It reminds me of Danger. So on and so forth, a barbershop fougere type of fragrance. This one here, I get the barbershop, but I feel like it's more fresher, more cleaner. I think more easier to wear. You don't have to dress this up. You can pretty much spray this and go run errands, go get groceries, so on and so forth. Go out in your day and you're gonna smell nice. So rating wise, I'm gonna give it a, a eight out of 10. Um, I can't give it a higher rating because you really, it's only six hours on the skin. So people want eight or nine with a $150 price. I get it. Plus, it's hard to it's smell. Expensive. Yeah, it's hard to smell, especially if you don't live in the UK. So he is selling bottles in the United States. And then another person on myfragrancesamples.com is selling samples of his bottles. So you definitely can pick up samples too. First, I suggest buy a sample before buying a bottle. But if these notes sound appealing to you and you like a, a classy gentleman type of fragrance, I think you, you'll like this fragrance. I think it's going to be anything that you're not going to hate or it's not going to offend anybody. Um, what would you give it for a rating, you think? One out of ten? I think I would give it a seven. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it fits any type of guy out there. Yeah, it's original. It's like an original freshie. I like that it's not... Um, Overly done or over too much, well, you think? it's not boring. Okay. I don't find it boring. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, just some... It all smells like something I've had before, and it just gets boring. I've had, I've smelled. <laughs> <laughs> and she smelled a lot of fragrances that I've had, whether she likes them or doesn't. So it's it's hard to please her after so many different, after almost four years of YouTube. It's, it's in my face all the time. It's hard to smell better fragrances that I've already have in my collection. So I'm yeah. very thankful I got new fragrances that she I actually have, likes. Yeah, I've, you know, I have the ones I really, really like. And then it's like those ones blew me out of the water. So then anything else, like, I'm just like, yeah, it's, fine you know <laughs> it's not nothing special exactly so when something is like okay that smells different and i like it because sometimes i do smell some stuff and it's like oh that smells different i still don't like it <laughs> <laughs> um you know and it's just not to my taste for whatever reason or you know sometimes you know he'll have me smell fresh fragrances and i'm like okay they're nice but they're boring they smell like everything else that's yeah, it it works for what you want it to do um, so this is not boring, it's interesting, it's different, um, and it's fresh fragrance, so, you know, you can wear it whenever. Yeah, I think it's really nice. I think at the $150 point, it can be expensive for some people, but at the same yes. time, there's a lot of designer fragrance that you're paying $100 for at the store now at Macy's and so forth. So another $50 for maybe a better fragrance that you don't want to smell like everybody else, this is going to definitely be a plus because you won't smell like every other person wearing Dior Sauvage, Blue de Chanel, Creed Aventus, so on and so forth that's on the market. This is very different. I like this one a lot. I do like the original one, it's my favorite, but this is a step up to where I feel like this is easier to wear if you don't wanna wear a classic, um, more suit and tie. This is more, you can wear suit and tie or or dress down too, which is, hard to, yeah, <laughs> which is hard to find a fragrance that you can wear casual, not always formal. So at the end of the day, I think it's a nice release. My girlfriend likes it. We both give a stamp of approval. We both like the fragrance. You should definitely check it out. I'll leave links down below to buy a bottle or a sample. Whatever you want to do, it's up to you. I don't get a kickback either way. So definitely check this fragrance out. Thanks for watching another fragrance video. If you like fragrance related content like this and want to see my girlfriend Kelly back on the channel, make sure you like the video, click the red subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. Thanks for you back in the video again. Of course, baby. You guys take care. Be safe. We'll see you next one. Peace. Bye.